Today, I will introduce a new feature to the Trips Planner app to add the ability to display and edit the user's profile. I will add an amplify function to create the profile data when the user completes the sign up. The amplify function will interact with a GraphQL API that uses AWS AppSync backed by Amazon DynamoDB. I need to configure the API for the IAM authentication to grant the Lambda function access to the GraphQL API. For that, I ran the command amplify update API. I selected the GraphQL option, then selected authorization modes to edit it. I accepted the Amazon Cognito user pool as the default authentication. I then choose IAM from the configure additional auth types. Next, I updated the schema GraphQL file to add the data model for the profile. Note the profile auth rules section where I have IAM as a provider. I run the command amplify code gen models to generate the models inside the lab models folder. I run the command amplify push to create the resources in the cloud. I created the auth surface.dart file inside the common services folder. In this file, I created the auth surface that will use amplify authentication to get the user's email and provide a sign out method. I updated the navigation drawer to add the option to sign out from the app using the auth service provider. I ran the command amplify update auth to update the authentication configurations. I went through the configurations and selected yes for configuring Lambda triggers, and then I enabled a post confirmation trigger. The CLI added a new folder for the function inside the Amplify folder. I updated the backend JSON file to add the required dependencies. I updated the custom JS file to run a GraphQL mutation and pass the required variables as arguments to create a profile record. I ran the command amplify update function to update the resource access permissions to allow the function to access the API for the query, mutation, and subscription. Next, I run the command amplify push to create the resources in the cloud. I created a new folder inside lib features folder and named it profile. Inside it, I created the folders services to connect with the Amplify backend, data to be the repository layer that abstracts away the networking code, controller to be the abstract layer to connect the UI with the repository, and UI where I'm going to create the widgets and the pages 
for the profile feature. I updated the routes dart file to add the enum value for the profile feature. Inside the profile services folder, I created the dart file profile data store service. Here I created the profile data store service with the following functions. Listen to profile to query the Amplify data store for the user's profile and streams its details. Add profile and update profile to update the user's profile using the Amplify data store. I created the profile repository Dart file inside the profiles data folder. The profile repository will abstract away the profile data store service. Inside the profile controller folder, I created the file profilecontroller.dart. The UI will use the controller to edit the details of the user's profile. I created the folder profile page inside the UI folder. Inside it, I create the Dart file edit profile bottom sheet. I updated the file to present a form to the user to submit the required details to update the user's profile. Once the user submit the details, I use the edit method of the profile controller provider to update the profile data. I created the Dart file profile page inside the UI profile page folder. The profile page will use the profile provider to display the user's profile details. The user can click on the edit button to update the profile's details using the edit profile button sheet. I updated the router Dart file to add the profile page route. I updated the navigation drawer Dart file to add the option to navigate to the profile page. I ran the app and created a new account. I navigated to the settings screen to get the user profile. Instead, I got a spinner and I can see a stream error on the console. This is because of the VTL resolvers did not get updated probably. To resolve that, I added a couple of empty lines to the schema GraphQL. I ran the command amplify push to update the resources on the cloud. With this change, the VTR resolvers will get updated. I ran the app again and created a new account. I navigated to the settings screen and I can see the profile data. I used the edit button and updated the profile details. 